And on second and four, Pavia throws to the end zone touchdown. That's Stowers. Just want to keep winning as many games as we can. And who knows, maybe it influence the college football playoff picture. Thorne throws to Fairweather, the ball comes out. And that'll do it. If it's a fumble, it is. We left williams Bryce last year thinking, wow, this program, where does it go from here? Two and ten record. Well, the answer is to Las Cruces, New Mexico, <laughs> to find an offensive identity. Yeah. And Clark Lee has a six and three football team after a 17-7 win at Jordan-Hare Stadium. Bowl eligible, historic win, special teams battle. Didn't play your best football on offense. Defensively, you found ways to stand up, stop a rushing attack that looked like it was starting to really get rolling and come away with a victory that something you haven't seen in over, well over half a century. Auburn falls to three and six. They'll host Louisiana Monroe after an open week in two weeks here at Jordan Air Stadium. And Ashley has the Lee family. Well, Coach Lee, officially bowl eligible with today's win. What does this mean for you in this program? Well, it means a lot. And again, it's just one, but obviously, I mean, I'm emotional and so proud of our team. Um, they just continue to impress me with the, their belief in each other and what we're building here. And obviously to win this one on the road, that's a tough Auburn team. A credit to Hugh and his guys, but um, we got it this one out. It went pretty, really proud of our guys. And to have your little men here and your family and get to celebrate what you're doing at Vanderbilt with them, what does that mean? Uh, it's incredible. This is baby Jack, and uh, he, he got to come. My wife took my daughter to Taylor Swift last night in Indianapolis. My son has a hockey tournament in Indiana, so he got to make the trip. He was good luck. So we, we um, it's always fun. This is very personal to me. It's my alma mater. It's my hometown. It's our family's hometown, and uh, we want to keep building something that uh, the world takes notice of. Absolutely. So Jack won out. He got to be here with you today, but beating Auburn and Alabama for the first time since 1955 in the same season. To talk about the culture change, the, the, this program being driven by your players and them buying in, what does it all mean to you right now? Well, I mean, more than I can express uh, without, you know, you guys have gotten me crying once post game. I'm not doing it again. Uh, more than I can express. I got so much love for um, our staff, our players, everyone, honestly, who's built in to get us to this point. There are a lot of people from team one and team two that, um, you know, have moved on. And I just appreciate it all. And obviously the best partner and teammate I have is Candace Lee and her belief in, in me and um, and what we're building has meant the world, meant everything. So let's keep it climbing. This certainly isn't isn't the arrival. It's a great marker for us. Uh, we got more ahead. I'm excited to go to work with these guys and keep them building. All right, Coach, thanks. What do you think about today's win, bud? It was good. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> he wanted some slants at halftime. I don't know that we got to the slants, but uh, anyways, yeah, we'll go celebrate with his boys. Perfect. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. I am sure Allison and Mara had a blast at Taylor Swift. Clark the third, I know, is going crazy watching this. Congratulations to Clark and to Jack Lee. How much